Good morning. Welcome to The Nine Online. My name is Caleb. I'm one of the pastors here at Bible Center Church. And this morning, I want to encourage you. Um, even though we're, we are in the middle of a pandemic and hopefully coming out of that, uh, this morning we find hope that God is all-powerful, that He is in control. Um, if you have been reading and tracking with us in Exodus, we're coming up to a pivotal point in the story. And this is where the plagues start coming to the Egyptians. This morning we find that Pharaoh's heart has been hardened. And I'd like to read to you from Exodus chapter 7, verse 14. Then the Lord said to Moses, Pharaoh's heart is unyielding. He refuses to let the people go. Go to Pharaoh in the morning as he goes out to the water. Wait on the bank of the Nile to meet him. And take in your hand the staff that was changed into a snake. Then say to him, The Lord, the God of the Hebrews, has sent me to say to you, Let my people go so that they may worship me in the desert. But until now, you have not listened. Pharaoh thought he was all-powerful. Pharaoh thought that he was in control, but the reality was that God was and is all-powerful. And so God is sending plagues on the Egyptians to get Pharaoh's attention. But the Bible teaches us that Pharaoh's heart was hardened. It makes me think about my own heart. I feel like there's times in my life where I just want to do my own thing. I want to do things my own way. I want to have control. Kind of like right before the pandemic started. Uh, this whole exercise in patience and trusting God has helped me. This pandemic has helped me just see that I don't have as much control as I thought I did. I don't have as much power as I thought I did. And so thinking that we have power and control when we don't is just a misplacement of of our faith and our trust in God. See, God is all-powerful. And so he's trying to get, in this story, Pharaoh's attention to let his people go so that they can worship him. God wants us to worship him. And when we think we have more power than we do, and we think we have more control than we do, uh, we're, we're not able to worship God in full truth. And the truth of the matter is, God is in control. God is all-powerful. God is able to do anything and everything um, if we just ask. And so we can trust Him. Um, this morning, I want to encourage you, no matter where you are, where you find yourself, to trust that God is in control and trust that God is powerful. And that may seem like in your situation that God isn't. But as believers, God wants our faith. He wants us just to believe that He is what He says He is. And so we trust that God is all-powerful. We see stories in the Bible um, time and time again where God does incredible things. I'm praying that through this pandemic that God does incredible things. That as we come out of this and we start to gather together, that we, we come together ready to worship and pour our hearts out. We come together ready to, to sing and to, to give and to love one another. I pray that we come out of this with more grace and kindness and mercy. Um, I know I need those things, and I, I believe God's trying to instill more of that in my heart. Um, we want you to know at Bible Center that we love you, uh, that we care about you, and we want God's best for you. And God's best begins at us acknowledging that God is who He is. He's all-powerful. He's in control. Moses realized that. Moses' trust was placed very well and rightly in God. May we do the same thing today.